majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for always returning trust you and yours are well and you are loving yourself and others like always many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel thank you so much to our channel members to our anonymous supporters to all of you my esteemed subscribers you are allowed celebrated and appreciated so <laughs> africans are now saying jesus let my people go did you hear that? Yes. They are waking the Africans right now. Like, you know, the video where, I, where I, I brought here and I said, there's an awakening going on. There's a movement in Africa right now to uh, let go of the Bible of the white man. And because a lot of Africans are beginning to realize, they're beginning to ask questions and this is what they don't like. This is what they don't like. They don't want you to ask questions. They just want you to keep following like a sheep. In another video, we're going to analyze this whole sheep shepherd part of the thing. So, they say, Jesus, let our people go. Why would Africans all of a sudden begin to see something that they have hold so dear to their heart? Alright, the religion that they hold so dear to their heart, not even the religion, the religions. Or, why would Africans all of a sudden begin to see something wrong with religion in general? Why would African all of a sudden Africans that are so religious? Africans are so are so no the thing the way they they tie the tires is like we special the the tying of Africans is a special time, a very special one, that it is difficult even for you to have your common sense activated. This is a level. This is what religion did to our reasonings, our brains, our understandings. To the point that when you begin to think, your fellow Africans will tell you that you have become a demon. And so when they look at you, they run away. And they instigate other people to hate on you. Now, why would this group of people on this part of the world just decide that what have been what they have been convenient with all these years? Something is wrong with it. I don't know if you ask this question before you end up saying, Oh, they are now saying Jesus, oh, the holy Jesus, oh, the Jesus, kiniko, kiniko. I have explained here how the letter J came to be and when it came to be and how it was added. So if you think that the power in the name of Jesus and the Jesus, 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 that is your business. If you have been calling Jesus, Jesus, and something has been happening for you, it's your own business. So. Because I keep saying this, it's not the name that gives you anything you ask for. It's a belief that you have. Now they want to divert the, the, the whole thing to the name. So they, 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 you know, they devalue the belief in you. They devalue your own abilities as a person. And say you don't have any power. It's the God, it's God that gives you power. And that God is outside of you, sitting somewhere up in the sky. A white man with a white beard. This is what they divert people attention to. Yes, we are created. We are of the creator. We are of nature. And nature is of us. Right? Because nature is a creator. If you say Jesus and a Jesus help you, you have encountered a Jesus. You have a, a experienced his power. And his what, what, what. It's not that name, oh. It's not that name because if you are saying it's that name, what if what what about those who were before that letter J? And not someone who was a savior of or a messiah, but not by that name, Jesus. So what are you telling me? That nothing will happen for them. When we tell you that what we have today as a Bible is so much adulterated. If nothing is wrong, why did they put that JD? They should leave it in what it was. Why did they put that JD? I just hope I'm making some sense. And I hope those with sense will understand. Because, uh, you know, since they took our senses at the Council of Chalcedon, a lot of people are living without sense now. And they come out very eloquent. They leave a comment. To them, they have been sweet them. They have leave a sweet comment. And they tell you, you have not known a God yet to repent. They are telling you to repent. <laughs> Anyway, let's listen to this. Well, oh yeah, Afro. Okay, before the white man came within days of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
Today is Thursday. Everybody today in Europe, they are working. Our people are in prayer house, praying since morning till now. So Christianity came to destroy our land, to destroy the future of Igbo land. I don't know why some Igbo youth are still sleeping. This is 21st century. You gather people in the afternoon. We are Holland are working. Germans are working. UK are working. Rome are working. Japanese are working. Indians are working. Chinese are working. Indonesians are working. Malaysians are working. You gather pregnant mothers. You gather youth. You gather adults. Our kids. You know? Singing since morning. I came out to my house, to, to, to my dorm. Tina. They just, they just opened this prayer house here in New because I haven't been hearing their voice for long. I'll be staying here. In working hour, government should look into this. I must tell you the act of Christianity. They are, they are the one training kidnappers in our society. They are the one training criminals. Because the youth, they have engaged in instances in this moment now. After brainwashing them, the youth grow if they could not be able to achieve what they think that Jesus will give to them. You will see them, they will pick gun. Government should look into this. Church should stop operating ordinary day. If Sunday is not enough for church to operate, government should look into this. It has to be cancelled. Your Majesty, it is quite unfortunate. It is unfortunate that this is just this is just a tip. This is a tip. There are people that are perpetual church goers from Sunday to Sunday. It's not like they are well to do. It's not like they have the money already, so they don't need to work. No, they don't have anything. So they go to this church every day. They don't think of where to go to, how to utilize themselves. They don't think of, okay, which work am I going to do to help myself to become responsible? They are always in the church praying. Oh, what have they done to us? And the so-called men of God, the pastors, Look at these people coming every day and they praise them. You are a good brother. I see you are very hardworking. You love the things of the Lord so much. You won't tell that person the truth to go look for a job to do. You are accommodating them coming to the church. Don't you think, where do they get the money to transport themselves to the church every day? How do they eat in their houses? And like he said, that's the truth. This is what breed kidnapping and thieves in communities. When they are supposed to go and look for work, to go and hustle, they are in the church clapping. And since even the so-called man of God himself is jobless, he will sit with them there because, but his own, he's using them to make this money. They are not working, but every time they go there, they have to do a factory. You have to ask them to bring money. You ask them to pay for this, and God is going to bless them. God is going to do a miracle. A miracle is coming. Their helper is on the way, coming. Abba. When you work, you pray. It's not like you sit and be praying and you no work. It's not going to work that way. And these are the same people that start putting eye on their fellow neighbors. They are, they are fellow human beings. And they see that their, their neighbor is growing because their neighbor is working. They will start attributing the success of their neighbors to, uh, to witchcraft, to a bunny bunny, to blood money. Because to them, they feel like it's not okay that they will have that. And then these so-called pastors will open their mouth and tell them, blessed are the poor in spirit. They don't even explain it that way. They say, blessed are the poor. When you don't have money, the kingdom of heaven is for you. And they are there they being deceived. Here in this, in, this, in this material world, they are wretched. Their spirit is tired already from here. In this trapped body. So I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. So that Jesus, that Jesus that will make our people... A lazy that Jesus that want people to always be sleeping in the church and don't care about what they eat we don't care about what their children feed on don't care about how they take care of themselves don't care about whether they develop their self or not that Jesus too should let our people go we don't want that Jesus 
That Jesus have now become the so-called Pharaoh that they want us to hate. Yes. I know some of you be like, hey, you saying Jesus is later. But you people agree that Pharaoh should let our people go. And people are even using it to sing, make music now. Pharaoh let my people go. So this time around, is Jesus let our people go. That Jesus should let Africans be. We are tired of that Jesus. So. Now it's time that we ourselves, my eyes are open now. Those who bring that Jesus are always going to work. And they go to church on Sunday. But we now that have collected that Jesus, we don't walk again. No. We go to church every day now. The church has become where we eat food from. And gradually we become demons. And we don't see it that way. We are looking at other people. While well, we are already the, 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 the chief demons, we are looking at other people. So, is this is something that we have to talk about. It's not something I will be tired of. I will keep flogging this issue. I will keep flogging this issue. If you sit down there and think that you cannot utilize yourself because uh, you are going to a church all the time, they go to church all the time, church, 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 and nothing good is coming out of your life, you are hurting yourself. There is no God that would want you to be a useless person. There is no God that would be happy to see that you are becoming useless and worthless, except if that is not it. That, that God is a blood sucking God. A demonic god because they are demonic gods so which one are you tying your consciousness to is it the Jesus that's the, the letter J was never even in existence for or is a God that all the Gospels that was removed from the Bible is talking about because of course they will not put that one there the God you seek is inside of you for crying out loud you don't need to go to a church to validate that. Yes, it's good. You go once in a while. I'm not saying you should not go to church, eh? Before you say, Abigail Smith, say no church for us. I'm not saying you should not go to church. Keep that community going. Keep that relationship. It's good. At least you interact. You go to interact. You go to eat. It's good. But never you tie your life into going to a church validates who you are. Going to a church is what to take you to any uh, place called heaven. Going to a church is what to make you who you No, it never does that. It never does that. You being a good person is not connected to you going to a church. You connecting with divinity is not connected to you going to a church. Because a lot of people move to that building with different intentions. Some go there to go and look at people that they can easily go and steal from at night. Okay, this person is rich. They will go to the person's house at night and steal. And in the morning, they come and pretend as if they were not the ones that were thieves. Because they never go to look for a job. They don't want to suffer to go and look for a job. They come and put eye on people that have money and follow them to their houses to go and steal from them. Some go there with other means, other uh, intentions. You don't know. And you think it's everybody you see that are human beings, that are normal. But no. So in this case right now, this Jesus will have to let our people go. So that we reason like, as we are supposed to reason, and free our brains from that time that they did at the Council of Chalcedon. We have to reason. Because we are created. It's a creator's giving gift. Reasoning. Common sense. And that common sense will tell you that, there are times that you have to go and walk. It's not all the time you sit in a place and be shouting, die by fire, die by fire, and the enemies will die by fire. Miracle will come. Where is the miracle coming from? When you're not working for it. You're not working towards a miracle. And this is why a lot of things that happen to people are, stay, are planned magic. So-called men of God go to collect magic powers to come and perform magic. Some perform uh, staged uh, miracles for you. Because of course you don't want to learn. And people are tapping from your, 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 you know, destiny. These so-called pastors, they are witches and wizards. They are tapping from your destiny to elongate their lives. Look at their children, look at their wives, looking so sweet, fresh, plumpy. And look at you giving them the money, since we don't want to learn. What do you think? I'll leave your comments and thought there at the section, and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others, stay safe, stay positive, always your majesties. Bye for now.